Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Well, not the whole thing, just an insanely easy bass riff that sounds so good on the guitar and is a lot of fun and very addictive when you've learnt it. Now, I can't stress how easy this is. It's the bass part that's played in the song about sort of three minutes in um, and obviously most famously it was used in the UK Grand Prix music as well. Um, so we're going to be learning uh, how to do it. As I said, I'll say it one last time, EASY with capital letters. Even if you've only been playing a day, you're going to be able to learn this. Let's have a look at the left hand and see how to do it. With this song, we start on an open A string. So I label the strings Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, so Eddie 8 A. So we go A. We go 0, 0, 2, 3. So there are two zeros. 0, 0, 2, 3. Then we go back to 2, then 0. Then middle finger on the 3, but on the thickest string. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. So you see I'm using my middle finger for the three. Okay, it's important to use different fingers because what it means is, is that you're, um, well, you're increasing the strength in, in those fingers rather than just moving your index around. Um, and it's also just that little bit quicker when you get used to it. Notice how my fingers are getting ready. They're not like going moving away they're keeping close so if you can do that fantastic anyway let's get on with this so it's now zero on the A string then two again and then zero on the thickest string on the E so let's go from the beginning zero on the A zero again two three two zero thickest string on on the third fret sorry zero on the A two on the A then three on the E. And then, just to get this little um, the bit that the guitar does, because that's actually played on the bass guitar that bit, we go to the 12th fret, okay, your guitar will probably have like two white dots or something on the on the fret inlay, you see like mine's got here, to tell you where 12 is. And then just press down with your index finger on the thinnest string, so that's making a high E we call it, and you're just going to hit that seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then do a little slide if you want to. So to slide, you just keep the pressure down on the string and then move your finger down. So you can feel the frets underneath your finger as you go. You hear that? This would be the opposite of a slide because it stops. But listen. See, it's actually sliding down. It's easier to do on the thickest strings, a slide, because they're heavier and they hold the sound more. But anyway, we go seven, 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 seven. And then we... Because we, we're doing a slide, we can then just move up to the open A string after we've done that slide. So you see that my hand's just gliding up as I'm sliding down. So that's a bit of independence between the two hands, all right? So we go. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial. I've really enjoyed teaching you. If you'd like to get the first five videos in my Essential Beginners Guitar Course for completely, for completely free? Completely free. Then all you need to do is click this link right here. That will take you through uh, to a sign up form on my website. All it takes is an email address uh, and your name. That's it no charge, the ho then you'll instantly get the videos for free and you'll get access to my student area where there are exclusive videos to YouTube, uh, 10 top tips to make you a better guitarist and there's some tablature for some of my songs as well and also some of my videos are in two parts so you'll get exclusive free access to those two parts. There's loads of people uh, using it already and I really really hope you can join them. Thanks very much for watching again, keep on playing, don't forget to sub, see you soon.